if you want to differentiate a function in the form of the ratio of two differentiable functions, then you can use the quotient rule. You first of all have to let u be equal to the numerator. And you also let v be equal to the denominator. Then you differentiate u with respect to x. This will give us 2. When you differentiate 2x, you get 2. And when you differentiate the constant, it is 0. And also, you differentiate v with respect to x. When you differentiate x, you get 1. And the differential of any constant is zero. And then you quote the quotient rule. That is dy dx is equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx all over v squared. And the v should not be equal to zero. Now v is x minus five, and du dx is two. U is two x plus three, and the v dx is one. All of our v squared, but v is x minus 5. We are going to expand and simplify the numerator. The denominator we normally leave it as it is. So dy dx is equal to, we expand, 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 5 is 10. And here we have like 2x minus 3 all over x minus 5 squared. So dy dx is equal to 2x minus 2x is 0. And negative 10 minus 3 is negative 13. This is our final answer. Let's try and solve another example. Let the numerator be u and the denominator be v. And the quotient rule dy dx is equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx all over v squared. v is not equal to 0. So dy dx is equal to v is 2x squared plus 1. 2x squared plus 1 times du dx. So we are going to differentiate the numerator, which is 2x minus u. u is x squared minus 1 times dv dx. So we differentiate the denominator, which is 4x. all over v squared. v is 2x squared plus 1. So we have 2x squared plus 1 squared. So dy dx is equal to, we expand and simplify the numerator. 
So 2x times 2x squared is 4x cubed. And 2x times 1 is 2x. And here we have 4x times x squared, which is 4x cubed. And 4x times 1 is 4x, but negative times negative is positive. Four x cubed minus four x cubed is zero, and two x plus four x is six x.